Hey guys, my name is Gabby Rios and my project is on microbiology relating it to the law of uninhibited growth. Microbiology is the study of microscopic organisms such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi. We are going to focus on bacteria. A cell culture helps determine the amount of bacteria and how fast it can grow. Cell cultures can only be performed when the bacteria is at its early stage of growth. Bacteria increases according to the law of uninhibited growth. Let's say I burned myself and bacteria was found in my burn and it developed. According to the microbiologist, the initial population of the bacteria in the culture was 1,000. The population increased to 31,116 in just two days. So my question is, if I had the burn infection for 11 days, what was the population of the bacteria throughout those days before it got treated? So we'll start off with the equation. The law of uninhibited growth is as follows. A equals A sub zero E to the K times T power, where A equals the total amount and A sub zero is our initial amount. E is equal approximately to 2.72 and it is also known as Euler's number. K is our constant, and if K is greater than zero, it indicates a growth. If K is less than zero, it indicates a decay. And finally, T represents our time. In order to find the population of bacteria on the 11th day, we have to solve for the constant first. So we know that the total amount is 31,116 after two days, so time would be two days, and the initial value was 1,000. Our equation would be 31,116 equals to 1,000 e to the k times 2 power. So now to isolate our variables, we would have to divide both sides by a thousand. So we get 31.116 equal to e to the 2k power. And in order to solve, we have to rewrite our equation in log form. So we have log of 2 equals 31.116 times k. So now to isolate k, we divide by 31.116 to both sides and we get k equals log of 2 over 31.116 so now we put it into the calculator log of 2 divided by 31 and we get k 0.116.022276 so now what we got for k, we would implement it to our new formula where a equals 1000 e to the 0 0.022276 times 11 power. So now we would divide both sides by 1000. Our new formula would be A over 1000 equals E to the point zero two 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 seven six times 11 power. And now we would multiply both sides by 1000 to isolate A and get A equals to once we put it in the calculator, A would be to a total of 1,277.67, but it rounds out to 1,277, which would be the total.